So to start, I'm going to use uh, an empty Flutter application. As you can see that we have the counter app that you will get by scaffolding a new Flutter application. And uh, I am going to remove everything from this main file, but this uh, stateless widget. And uh, if you remember from the demo app, let me show you. We had uh, different pages like we have here about us page and also the settings page and we can change the language so we are able to navigate this between these pages so this is done by using the router and so before everything else let me configure the route the router let me bring this empty app and uh, if you hover on this material app, you will see that we have uh, a property called uh, initial route and also here we have uh, on generate route. So by using these two properties of this material app, we are able to configure the routes. So <coughs> I'm going to use the on generate route and uh, also I'm going to use a class called custom route this class does not exist but we are going to create it later and in that class we will have a method called all routes and uh, and also we can use the initial route and this initial route basically accepts an a string and if you hover on it it says an a string so we can put something like this the home but i am going to use a constant called home route uh, later i will uh, tell you why i use this uh, home route constant so before that let's uh, create this custom route class in order to get rid of this squiggly lines and uh, for that uh, i'm heading over to the lab and uh, creating a directory called routes and inside that I'm going to create a class called custom router dot dart so this is a class custom router and this uh, custom router will have a method called all routes as you remember here all routes and uh, it's a static method which returns the route dynamic why this is route dynamic because if you hover on this uh, on generate route you will see that we have on route dynamic and function which uh, accepts route settings and that's why we'll have all routes and this will have the uh, route settings route settings as settings and uh, for that we need to bring the material uh, dot dart and uh, basically whenever we are navigating from one page to another page the, this method will get called and uh, will pass these settings to us and by uh, manipulating these uh, settings we will know that which page the user is intended to navigate to so uh, we can use a switch and uh, settings.name to uh, know which page the user currently intended to navigate to. And uh, for that, we use a case if it is home route, which is not exist yet, and we will return a material, material page route. And this material page route uh, this material page route has uh, some properties called builder and uh, full screen dialog or maintain states and settings uh, but right now we are interested in the uh, builder and this builder will have a context that we are not interested in and we will return the home page which does not exist and we are going to create it so before that let's uh, create this home route constant for that I'm uh, creating uh, something called route names uh, which will have all the route name constants 
so constant uh, uh, string home route and this home route is equal to backslash and uh, also we will have something called about route about route and this about route is equal to about and uh, uh, constant string uh, settings route which is equal to the settings okay so let's bring the route constants route names into this file and right now we have this home route so why we use this route name constants because uh, it it offers flexibility you know it, here we can use it as a home route and also inside the the main page also we have the same thing so we will not face some problems of, of you know mistyping or misspelling and it's really a good practice to do and also let me bring this uh, custom route let me copy this one and uh, i'll call this as custom router let me call it yes custom router and this let me bring this class and uh, we need to create this home page right now for that i'm going to create another directory uh, called pages inside the lib directory and create something called homepage.dart and uh, also a stateful widget called home page and let let me bring the material.dart to get rid of this squiggly lines and this home page will return a scaffold a scaffold widget which has an app bar and uh, this have a title which is a text widget and will say home page let me copy let me copy this uh, code and also create about page dot dart and paste it here and by pressing Control D or Command D on Mac we can select all and rename it about page and let me create another page called settings page dot dart settings page dot dart let me change this one also to settings and also inside the main uh, sorry inside the about let me change this to about page so uh, currently we have the pages and let me bring the home page and also inside the main let me yeah everything is configured let me restart the app so yes we have the home page as we have it in uh, as our initial route so uh, but we have the two other pages the home about page and the settings but we are not able to navigate to to be able to do that first of all inside the custom router and here we have a warning which says that it does not return um, because uh, we have some cases if suppose a case does not match then we do not have something to return so for that let me copy this fine this and put it here if suppose none of the cases matches I want to return not found page this not found page is not existed yet so let me uh, control C and control V or copy this about and I'll rename it as not found page and uh, not found page let me select all the things by pressing Control D, not found page, and here also not found page. Okay, so let me bring the not found page inside the custom router, and uh, we have two other cases that we need to add, which is uh, another one is the 
um, what you can say about about route and here we will return the about page and we have the uh, settings route which will return the settings page okay so right now we have configured everything but we are not able to navigate between these pages to do that uh, head over to the home page and inside the uh, body of this scaffold we can use uh, a container and uh, for that the child of this container is a material uh, button uh, which uh, on press it'll, it will navigate to uh, let me navigate to to about page and so also the child of this is a text which says navigate to about page and also the color of this is colors dot primary or let's say blue and uh, on press of this uh, button let me save it we have this button on press of this button we want to navigate to currently it does not work and we on press of this uh, button we want to navigate to about page so we can achieve that by using navigator navigator class dot push named and th this uh, accepts a context and also route name and so I will put about route so see the, the flexibility I uh, told you earlier that we will get by using this constants so uh, like about route or not found route or whatever it is uh, so we are able to just uh, bring that constant and use it everywhere by using the push uh, like the, using the route names and if I currently click on this one so yes we are able to navigate to the uh, about page and by you know we can navigate it back to and if if I inside about page I put something like uh, I copy I copy this uh, the body part of this one and uh, put it inside the about page and uh, right now I want to navigate to the settings route navigate to uh, settings and settings page this is really easy and you can do it see navigate to settings page yes we can we are able to navigate to the settings page so this is uh, the uh, configuration of route uh, routing inside the flutter app but uh, if you remember inside the uh, uh, our demo we have this navigation uh, using a drawer so we can achieve that let me delete these things I mean let me delete it and we have a container here we don't need the route names here and also inside the home page I don't need this container rather what I want is a drawer to be able to navigate to so this scaffold has a property called uh, drawer yes it's a widget uh, so uh, I'll put a drawer and I'll create a method called the drawer list so I will stop the video and I will type the uh, the code uh, and I'll come back to you uh, later on I'll put a link in the video description so you can get uh, the, the code anytime you want